All right, folks, back to the ethical mud pit that is AI. We'll be exploring the darker side of artificial intelligence, and trust me, it's not all unicorns and rainbows. We're talking bias, privacy, security, accountability, transparency, and all the other stuff that keeps Elon Musk up at night. So buckle up, put on your thinking caps, and let's dive into the ethical abyss of AI. Now you're going to notice that there's some overlap in ethical considerations and those are probably the ones that should, we should really be paying attention to and those overlaps happen to be in the privacy and security when it comes to all manner of AI models, processes, and such. So keep that in mind because there's already an issue with privacy in a lot of the world and so this is going to be very real stuff that's going on already in a lot of places. So this video is going to be about the ethical considerations when it comes to using AI for social uses, for security uses, and autonomous weapons uses. And in addition, we'll talk about the ethics in relation to privacy when all of this stuff is used. It's becoming increasingly important as AI continues to advance and become um, more widespread. Ethical issues related to these topics are becoming far more important as AI rapidly advances and begins to be part of all of our lives. Some of the key ethical and social considerations that have risen to the forefront as AI has become increasingly popular are as follows. There's bias and discrimination. And by that, uh, it's more in terms of the training of the AI model. For instance, AI is only as unbiased as the data they are trained on. And if that data is biased, it can reflect the biases and prejudices of their creators, which leads to discriminatory outcomes in surveillance and privacy. To make matters worse, algorithms can perpetuate and spread bias and we don't even really need to imagine that. We can see that happening in real life already with algorithms. These types of biases can result in discrimination against certain groups of people, such as women, people of color, and other marginalized communities. One example is how AI is used in hiring. And one way that the bias can come out is if the AI favors a candidate with certain demographic backgrounds based on historical data. And now that much of interviewing is first done by AI, that's a huge problem. And I don't know if anybody out there has tried applying for jobs lately, but the move is going towards video interviews that AI filters before it even gets to a person. So if you're not good in front of a camera or AI is biased, you will not even progress on to that next interview stage. I know somebody recently who went through the process of interviewing in such a way, and it was my concern through the whole thing that the AI was somehow going to kick this person off of the list. In addition, AI is being used on hiring platforms already, and people have already come forward saying that the AI is skipping over them based on something very minor in their application process. And so they'll go to the company and talk to the company directly. And then they end up getting a real interview or a job, but because the AI for let's say indeed allegedly is not good. Use allegedly when you don't want to get into legal trouble. And so those are already concerns that we need to figure out. Another way that biased AI can F things up is through being susceptible to a lack of diversity, which can lead to a lack of understanding of diverse perspectives and experiences resulting in biased algorithms that fail to take into account the needs and experience of marginalized groups, which can have a disproportionate impact on certain groups, particularly those who are already marginalized or discriminated against. AI is known specifically in the security industry to not recognize the faces of black and brown people. And so that is a huge problem to begin with. AI powered 
Facial recognition systems may be less accurate for certain ethnic groups, particularly for those with darker skin tones, resulting in higher rates of false positives and greater scrutiny of certain populations. Next, we're moving on to the ethical considerations when it comes to privacy and surveillance. AI technologies can collect and analyze vast amounts of personal data, including online activity, location, personal information, which can be used for surveillance and tracking. This raises concerns about privacy and the potential for misuse of personal information by government organizations. I mean, let's be honest, we already have a problem with this. You're carrying a surveillance, you're carrying a surveillance device with you at all times. If you've got any number of apps on it, you're being surveilled. It's not cool. It should stop, but we're in the dystopic hell of our building, so we'll have to deal with it. There's also mass surveillance in China that we all know about, so there's absolutely no privacy there. And we are not that far behind them when it comes to surveillance, but like I said, we all carry one of these and multiple things that have GPS tracking on them, I'm sure, and so you're always being watched and you're always being listened to. And I know that because when I say things are on my phone, not even searching up those things, I get advertisements for the things I've had discussions with other people about, but have never searched for on the internet. So privacy and surveillance is already a problem. And AI is, in my opinion, just going to make it worse. But let's break it down. Risk for data security as AI systems can be vulnerable to hacking and other forms of cyber attacks, which can compromise the privacy and security of personal data. This raises ethical concerns about the responsibility of governments and corporations to protect the data of individuals and ensure that it is used only for intended purposes. This raises ethical concerns about the right to privacy and the need for individuals to have control over their personal data. AI is used for surveillance and privacy. There is a need to ensure that such use is proportionate and necessary, and that it does not infringe on the rights of individuals or disproportionately affect certain groups. It's important for policymakers and individuals to work towards developing strategies that promote diversity, equity, and fairness, and to ensure that AI systems are designed and deployed in a responsible and ethical manner. This includes addressing issues related to data bias, algorithm bias, lack of diversity, discriminatory impact, and lack of accountability. Moving on to autonomous weapons. AI has been integrated into the military and has been for years, such as drones and autonomous weapons to improve accuracy and speed in combat. The development of autonomous weapons systems or quote unquote killer robots has raised significant ethical concerns about the use of AI in warfare and the potential for these systems to make life or death decisions about human oversight. Now on to transparency, accountability, and human control in terms of autonomous weapons. The big issue is if AI is making decisions about how to target and when to strike, it can be difficult to determine who is responsible for the actions of the system. This lack of accountability can make it difficult to hold individuals or organizations responsible for any harm caused by these systems. There is also a risk that these systems could act in ways that are not aligned with human values or preferences. I have mixed feelings about autonomous weapons. Now is a great time to add that if you haven't watched the series Dark Mirror, which I think is going into its fifth season now, and you're interested in sci-fi and AI technology mixed with humankind going wrong, it's perfect. And the reason that I thought of it is the one uh, episode that struck me was the use of autonomous robot weapons um, in one of the episodes. <laughs> Moving on. I hope this hasn't been boring yet. It's a real, like I said in the first video, which if you haven't watched, it's on the environmental ethical impacts of um, AI. It's not a really fun topic, but it's important. And it's also like gonna impact everybody. There's a lot of positive for AI, but everybody will be singing those praises. And I think it's important to ground yourself in reality by thinking about how things could go wrong because things could go wrong in a big way when it comes to AI for humankind. And so I think that we should just be a little bit more careful. Now I'm going to move on to the ethical considerations when it comes to cultural norms and values. 
AI systems can have an impact on culture in several ways, including by influencing beliefs, values, and behaviors. AI systems are often designed by people with specific cultural values and biases. This can lead to AI systems that reflect those biases and may not be appropriate for use in other cultural contexts. For instance, AI-powered social media algorithms may reinforce echo chambers leading to a reinforcement of existing cultural norms and values, which can limit diversity and creativity. AI can also impact cultural values and norms by contributing to the loss of certain skills and knowledge. As AI systems become more advanced, they may replace human workers in certain industries, leading to a loss of skills and knowledge that have been passed down through generations, such as with traditional crafts or skills that may be lost as AI-powered machines take over their production. Let's put this into perspective. Every single development of a machine in humankind has taken a skill away. If you think about the development of all the technologies over the last hundred years or so, you can definitely trace the loss of creativity and knowledge to the development of those tools. So I'm uncertain why people would think that AI would be any different. All right. All right. Now we're going to move on to the impact of AI on democracy. And it's already impacted democracy. There are concerns that AI, okay. I'm going to try not to laugh here. There are concerns that AI tech, such as social media algorithms and deep fakes, can be used to manipulate the public and undermine the democratic process. As AI becomes more advanced, there's needs to consider how it can be used in a way that supports rather than undermines democratic values. Now, I don't know who knows what a deep fake is because if you're not a social media user or heavy social media user, you may have never heard of it. And a deep fake is simply a video that looks real, that's fake, that's artificially generated, that may contain a president saying something that he has never said before, or a movie star saying something that they have never said in real life. And they are getting really, really good. Voice AI deep fakes are also moving along quite well. So if you're listening to something on the radio or on TV or anywhere, there is going to be a growing possibility depending on who is presenting that media that it's fake. And believably so. I've listened to voice deep fakes of um, several presidents, Barack Obama being the one that's most difficult to fake because he has a very specific cadence in his voice. So it's harder for AI to mimic him. But they're just gonna get better. And that's all gonna undermine democracies and governments all over the world. It already is. So again, just like every ethical issue that is coming up about AI is ethical issues we're already like not good with dealing with. So if you wanted to be a fatalist or a, a pessimist or whatever, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of evidence here that AI is gonna go bad. It's gonna really go bad. But at this, you know, you just got to be positive and hope that, hope that humans become good. Because AI has the potential to enhance democracy too, by improving the efficiency, transparency, and accountability of government operations by using AI to identify and prevent electoral fraud, increase voter turnout, and promote access to information. One concern about the impact of AI on democracy is the potential for AI to exasperate existing inequalities in society, such as if and when AI is developed and deployed in a way that reinforces existing power structures and further concentrates power in the hands of a few. AI algorithms are capable of processing vast amounts of data and identifying patterns that would be difficult for humans to detect. While this can be beneficial for identifying and preventing fraud or other malicious activity, it can also lead to concerns about the potential misuse of personal data and surveillance. For example, AI-powered surveillance systems could be used to monitor and track citizens, which could undermine individual privacy and the freedom of expression. Our individual freedom and privacy is already being undermined without there being AI, so 
as AI becomes more complex and autonomous, it becomes more difficult for humans to understand how decisions are being made and to hold those responsible accountable. I've listened to a couple episodes and I'm here to tell you they already don't understand how AI actually works or processes information. It's coming up with things that no human has done before. One instance is in playing chess. Apparently the AI beat the human and had made moves that nobody had ever thought of. And so that's machine learning. It's learned to do things without instruction. It's kind of creative too. So they already don't, they, they, they already don't know how it's working. And as they continue to improve it, I don't know if anybody is paying attention. In any case, this could all lead to a lack of transparency and accountability in government, decision-making processes, which could undermine democratic values governments who already have issues with accountability and transparency. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel or sharing my content to spread the AI ethical news. But we're going to move on to the transparency and accountability part now. And this is the last section for this ethics video. The next ethics video, by the way, is going to be on art and creativity, law and employment. All right. So, Transparency. Accountability and transparency and accountability for algorithm decisions. It can be difficult to understand how AI systems make decisions, which can make it difficult to hold people or companies accountable for their actions. As AI systems are used to make decisions that have significant impacts on people's lives, there are concerns about who is accountable, as it can be difficult to determine responsibility if the decision was made by an algorithm with no clear human decision making. Lack of transparency makes it difficult to identify and address issues related to bias and discrimination, negative consequences, and reinforcement of existing cultural biases and stereotypes, which can have negative consequences for individuals and society as a whole. So everything that we talked about in this episode today will raise new concerns for fairness and risk for human rights and other fundamental values. Individuals may feel they have little control over their own lives as AI systems become more advanced. There are concerns about the potential loss of autonomy and agency. And that's it for that episode. The ethical considerations of AI in relation to society, to security, to privacy, to life. So whether you're an AI newbie or a seasoned pro, I hope this video has given you some ethical things to consider when it comes to the development and deployment of AI now and in the future. Just remember, if you ever feel like your online presence is being monitored or manipulated, just shout, I do not consent. Probably won't do anything, but it might make you feel better. Thanks for watching. Stay ethical and have a wonderful day. And I know you're thinking, eh, woke, it's a woke stuff, diversity.